So good evening once again. We are gathering here to practice meditation. So finding your comfortable position and disconnecting all the disturbances and motivating yourself to stay and practicing this half an hour giving time for yourself giving time to know your body know your mind so simply sitting comfortably bringing your mind and a heart stopping this very moment wherever you are sitting whichever position you are in finding a comfortable position whether you are sitting on a floor or on, on a sofa simply stopping free yourself from all the responsibilities or all the duties that you are responsible for and giving this time for yourself learn to know your body your feelings, your mind and the phenomena as it happens. We spend a lot of time looking outside and engaging external activities and engaging with that heavily and the practice of a meditation is to dive insight into your own body and the mind. And a practice is simply you're standing on one state and are watching whatever comes through, like the watcher or the a guard at the door. So he will stand on his boot and watching whoever comes in and goes out. Establishing awareness and mindful of each and every individual pass through the gate without missing anyone. but no engagement with that person at all nothing to do with that person at all all job is to recognize each and every individuals whether they are vulnerable danger or not or whether they are simply a regular So practice of meditation is like that too. So we are training our mind by observing the body, observing the sensations and feelings as the base. So far we've been working with our body and training with our body, establishing our mindfulness on the body so this bodily movement or the bodily sensations at the central part of the body which we are focusing as the rising falling of abdomen so as breathe in it rises as breathe out it falls and along with that rising falling We've been practicing to know and to observe different functionalities, different characters, and even related to the expansion of the entire body. So every activity that is taking place, we are mindful of it. 
without missing any. So as a base that we are establishing on the rising falling of abdomen, so aware of that. And whatever happens, we're simply aware of them too. So it's like rising and falling is a boot where the security guard stays in. And watching, observing anything that takes place. Everyone who comes in and goes out. No judgments, nothing. So simply aware of that. And with that awareness, we will be checking or investigating of simply having a wise attention on everything that we observe whether it is the reality pertaining to the natural truth or you are creating it so having a balanced mind And also not just uh, focusing on the primary object but also checking your effort to be mindful. Are you spending enough effort to be mindful? or not? Or do you feel that you are able to be mindful of the rising falling or the relationship along with the rising falling in the entire body and the feelings how it is related In this moment, if you want to extend to the, your feelings, your upsets, your frustrations, discomfort or disappointments, then you may bring those emotions and watch it, observing it and having a wise attention, wise reflection. Free yourself from any bias, but having a wise reflection. When you're observing these emotions, what do you feel in your body? So being a mindful of that. mindful of that sensation, mindful of the effect in your body and mindful of your own mind, how you are linking, how you are relating, how are you engaging with it. It is not the emotion but your engagement your relationship and that is important so being mindful of that and simply aware of it
being mindful as you are experiencing it and let it be So practice of a mindfulness meditation is to be aware of the present moment awareness. What's happening in the present moment? An awareness in the, in the present moment, there are three stages. It's called Upati Thiti and Banga, which means arising, remains, and pass away or fade away. So, ability to be aware as the emotions arise or as the sensation you can experience in your body and remains. As long as we engage, it remains. But if we are observing objectively, it won't last long. And it will fade away. So being mindful of each and every individual sensations, that you are experiencing in this way. Sometimes you may be able to be mindful as it arises, but the remains and fade away, you're unable to be mindful. Or sometimes you're aware of remain and fade away, not arising. Another time you may aware rising and remain but not fading away. So mindful of that as it happens, as it takes place. But do not go on to telling the stories. Do not go along to grasp or neglect. Simply as it is. Like a guard watching everyone who is passing through the gate. Recognizing Cognizing and let it be. So consciously aware of everything that is taking place as it happens, as it remains, as it fades away. So the Buddha taught us to be mindful of the body, to be mindful of the sensations, to be mindful of our mental state, and to be mindful of the phenomena, the entire phenomena as it happens. So being mindful of it as it arises, as it remains and as it fades away. controlling the breath or regulating the breath to see these things but the natural breath normal breath 
and aware of everything that is taking place. So for five, six minutes, we will practice silently before we do the practice of meditation. And after five, six minutes of the practice, again, we'll guide to the practice of loving kindness meditation. So continue practicing in this way. Just being a guard, guarding everything that's coming through. Objectively,
So next we will practice loving kindness meditation to also relax yourself, loosening yourself uncomfortably aware of sensations throughout the body. A sensation, whatever sensations you can detect, simply aware of that. And bring this awareness bring that awareness to your hands. Aware of sensations in your hands. Whatever sensations are there. And bring that awareness to your heart. Feel the connection with your heart. Physically smiling will connect you. So smile. And feel the connection with your heart. And as you feel the connection with your heart, generating loving kindness and compassion to yourself. May I be well, may I be happy, may I be at peace, may I be free from suffering, may I be free from troubles of body and mind, may I be able to maintain my happiness. And similarly sharing a loving kindness and compassion to all other sentient beings starting from the idea one. A parents, husband and wife, children, family, friends. Beings in this room, in this city, in this country, on earth and in the universe. Whatever being there are, may they be happy, may they be at peace, may they be free from suffering, may they be free from troubles of body and mind. Whatever beings there are, those who are experiencing suffering mentally and physically, may their sufferings end and attain well-being and happiness. Those who are already happy and well, may their happiness and well-being increase. So sending our loving thoughts, caring thoughts with a wish to heal their hearts. And bring your attention to your hands, aware of sensations in your hands and to your body. Aware of sensations in your hands and to your body. And to your eyes. And as you hear the gong coming up from meditation and reflect for a few moments, Let's pay respect to the Buddha Dhamma Sangha. Arahang Samma Sambodho Bhagavan Bhutang Bhagavan Dang Abhiwati 
Satu everyone, thank you everyone for following and meditating with us. So we will be back every night for the talk, chanting and guided meditation. So you are most welcome to join with us. And do not forget to post your questions or your reflections and your feedbacks. In the practice of a meditation, so while I'm waiting, anyone uh, asks a question, I'm just uh, uh, sharing some of their thoughts. So in the practice of a meditation, it comes uh, to principles that is called the mindfulness and clear comprehension. These two are known as the assistant teaching, assistant. So it assists us to keep us safe. So that's why in a practice always it comes together, sati sampajanya. Or sati panya. So sati is a mindfulness, and the sampajanya or the panya is the wisdom. So mindfulness simply being a mindful of the past, present, past, past, present, and future. Uh, aware of where I came from, what am I doing, and what I'm going to be doing. Uh, it's like uh, if you are meditating at the moment and you are aware of the past, the recent past and aware of the present and also you know there is an oncoming future what you're going to do after you have finished the meditation. So the Sampajanya, the wisdom part, is not following the past, present and the future but it will remain in the present moment. I normally uh, give a simile of the sword that cuts it cuts in the present moment whenever whatever is arising that very moment. An ability to be aware of it as soon as it arises. And this is the part, is the wisdom part as we develop our mindfulness we will be able to be aware objectively and let it go as soon as it arises. And this is a very, very beneficial for our day-to-day -day life and we will be able to deal with any situation, any problems that we are facing in our day-to-day -day life if we really know how to use and have developed these two qualities in us. So that's why it's called a great uh, assistant called upakara. The Dhamma of upakara means giving a great assistant, uh, helping us not to fall into the darkness or uh, going into the wrongful actions. So, developing these two qualities. Uh, is important in the practice of the meditation and once we have fully developed these two principles or qualities in the practice uh, then we will be able to so-called free ourselves from suffering, sorrow, lamentation, pain, grief and ignorance which is the goal of the practice of meditation. So keep practicing and if you would like to have a basic or the beginning uh, practice you can go back to our previous guided meditations and if you feel difficult to find on YouTube uh, on Facebook you can go to the YouTube as well. 
YouTube uh, in a daily uh, updates there you can listen and practice uh, from YouTube Right, so uh, it appears uh, nobody has got any questions to ask, uh, no feedbacks. Uh, so I believe that you're all practicing properly and dedicating in the practice. So, and if you are practicing diligently, then the benefit you will get for sure. So I believe you're doing it diligently and persistently with this. I end for tonight and see you tomorrow at uh, half past seven for meditation or talk for half past, uh, half past six. Until then, may you be happy, peaceful and successful and stay safe. Take care. May the Buddha Dhamma Sangha bless you. And good night.